What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Deluvion. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today. I'm actually enjoying this game quite a bit. It does have its flaws, which is what's funny about this game, is that it's a bit of a flawed gem. Like, there's so many things about this game that I really, really, really like, and then there's just like little things that really eat at me while I'm playing it where I'm just like, eh, I don't like that very much. And it doesn't necessarily like destroy my enjoyment of the game, but at the same time, if you're going to be purchasing the game, you just have to understand that there are little things that are frustrating with this game. The control scheme, I think, could be probably a little bit... Oh, is that how we're doing it today? Alright, that's fine. If that's how we're going to be doing it... Oh, shit, I crashed into the bottom of the ocean. Hey, if you want to fight, man. Although, he's got the speedy vessel. I'm having trouble hitting him. He's quite a bit faster than I expect, although I think if you click inside the little red star, it actually almost always hits. He is, however, doing damage. Oh, shit. Come on. That's definitely one of the toughest pirates I've ever seen. It's a very tough pirate. If I could just put a couple shells across him, sorry. I'm focusing pretty heavily on aiming right now. It's more challenging than it looks. There we go. We finally laid him down. Let me see if I can get some oxygen off this guy. I'm hoping he'll have pretty good loot, given how difficult it was to actually kill him. There we go. Fill up the air tanks, and then we got a loot sphere underneath us. I wouldn't expect the game to give up a loot sphere that easily. Loot spheres are pretty awesome. We've got a decent amount of treasure down here. In today's episode, we basically got to look for the Morse machine. Uh, we don't have a lot of indicators as to where the Morse machine is at, so this might be a rough adventure. We might have trouble with this one just because the game doesn't tell you where it's at. It's just like, oh, you need one. And then you ask it. You say, hey, where is the Morse machine? And it's like, oh, it's in this place. But then nobody tells you where the place is. They just tell you you have to go to the place. And so it's kind of like somebody being like, oh, yeah, that thing is in Ukraine. But you don't know where Ukraine is. They know where Ukraine is, but for some reason they won't tell you. It's kind of like that. And so we've got to... Oh, shit, I'm under attack. Hold on. Torpedo coming in quick. God, I hope not. Where's the torpedo at? What was hitting us? Oh, there's a lionfish up there. Man, he hit us with altitude. Okay. Alright, let's go do this thing. We got another fight on our hands. Oh, you can shoot down torpedoes. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Oof, leaned right into that one. Shoot, I'm okay with just pulling up next to him and just firing on him. Full on. We've got to be close. Slow, come by. Oof. I was going to say, I might not be able to stop that torpedo in time. He let that one lose really, really close range. And so that was slightly concerning. I do feel like we're doing okay in combat. Like, I feel like the enemies really do have problems putting us down. We've yet to fight two or three of them at the same time, though, which I think is the other part that we're untested in that regard. We're untested. I wasn't expecting to fight this many pirates right now. Who are you? You want to join up? Well, Met Captain, can I ask if your ship needs salvation? Two, two, four, and two. I feel like you would kind of join me just based on the fact that you're stranded on a ship right now that's going to be sinking very shortly. But, hey... I can't afford you. You're too expensive, so I guess stay at the bottom of the ocean? I don't know. Wow, we actually gained... I I need to get inside this loot sphere, but I wasn't expecting to lose that much... I don't know whether to call it altitude or depth or whatever the hell we're going to call it here. Into the loot sphere! Beautiful loot sphere! Let me touch you! Oh, it's got like a little face on the side. It's all ornate because it knows it holds treasure. It's like a little urn of awesome. Give me! Give me the urn of awesome! And hopefully nobody shoots at me anytime soon because I was in the middle of looting this thing. So we already went through that right there. 
There's obviously a barrel right there with some dinars. That one's just got bones inside of it. Some more dinars and some bones. And there's another one right there. A little bit of scrap. Okay. I'll always take ammunition. Ammunition's good. And that looks like about all we're going to be able to get our hands on. Now, what I want to do is I want to keep a northwest heading because... Where's my northwest at? There it is. I want to keep a northwest heading because that's the only area on this map so far that we haven't been to. And so it seems like a better plan, if you take my meaning. We've got something up there. I don't know what that is. But we're going to have to start looking in areas that otherwise we haven't been to yet. Because I've been everywhere else and we haven't seen this towel dollar place. So without any indication as to what part of the map it's on, I suppose. Let's go have a look and see what this thing is over here. Shoot down that mine so I don't get myself into trouble. What the hell is this thing that they've got chained down up top? Is it interactable at all? There's a ship over there. Might be hostile, might not be. Looks like some kind of crab leg, maybe. And if we don't have hostiles, yeah, I was going to say, it sounds they changed the music on me. That's normally a pretty good indicator that there are hostiles. Wow, we're on this dude. We were on that dude's ass. That dude had the worst day ever. That dude had a terrible day. He picked that fight and then just got knocked out at the outset. Just like, bing, 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 bing. Couldn't do it. You want to join up, extra pirate guy? You don't look like the best sailor in the ocean to me. You look pretty terrible, actually. You've got zero points in some of your stats. How is that even possible? In most role-playing games, if you have zero in a stat, you die. Or you're just so mentally inept that you don't remember to breathe. Like, <laughs> all right. So there are things around here. There's a crippled flounder. Let me throw out a ping. Maybe that'll make my life a tad easier. All right. So that's the thing we saw in the previous episode before we got killed by a lack of oxygen that had a research capsule on top of it. I'm okay with that. The only other thing that we saw around here, though, that's slightly to the southwest, more west than anything else. So we found a landmark, Cross Ice. So that's supposed to be like a brick of ice right there. That's cool. I couldn't. It says the game is saved. But I've learned that it's not telling the truth. So, for example, you know how in the last episode I told you that I was going to go back to, like, a central town? I went to a central town. It said that it saved. And then when I logged on today to play, I was back over here. I don't know. So where is Anchored Ice at? Cross Ice is right there. Let's cut straight north and see what we can find over there. We already tried that. That's east-southeast. It wants me to go to Daybreak for some reason, but I'm not really sure why. Like, it keeps pointing me back to Daybreak. I don't know. I've been mostly ignoring it because I don't think that that's the right course of action. However, here, they had an extreme piracy problem over on this side from what I remember. And I, being somewhat nervous about getting my ass shot off, just having it actually cut off, surgically removed by gunshots, was a little bit remiss to be in this area. However, we've got something suspended right there. Looks like they've suspended that ice, too, down at the bottom. Well, here, let's just stay on this for now. Oxygen is going to be our principal problem for the next little bit. Is he hostile? What is he? A flounder pirate. Okay. We'll handle him. Give him a nice little volley right there. And if it hits, it hits. He's just like us, so he shouldn't be much of a challenge. Let me throw... And I'm not trying to say that we're not good at fighting. All I'm saying is that we've got the same ship as him. It's just we upgraded our gun. We added, we put a little bit of Skrilla into having a more dope gun, you know? So there's no oxygen inside this ship. That's unfortunate. I don't like that. Okay, so let's flip this thing around. We need to find a place to make port. 
And if we can't, that's going to be a little bit of a mess. Unfortunately, I don't really see much. I don't know what that is right there, but I figure it's probably worth a look, right? That's probably a pirate right there. Because almost everything in the ocean so far has been a pirate. Oof. Took some damage right there. Yeah, I know. As usual, my air tank is low. I'm going to go overdrive on this dude. Yeah, the torpedo tube is slightly concerning. So he's down after having hit a mine. I'm going to pull down to similar depth on this guy. Oh, you don't mean that. You want to be friends. This is all just a big quest for attention. I know it. Come on. Man, that guy's got a pretty good chin on him. Well, don't shoot torpedoes at me. All I want to do is go to this place, and you're not letting me do it. Like, we didn't have to fight right now. This did not have to be an altercation. We could have just been chillaxed and hung out a little bit, but no. You couldn't let it be like that. You couldn't let it be like that. We got nothing in there. We didn't get any oxygen from that one either. There's an abandoned workshop down there. I'm inclined to say, hey, let's go after the workshop because maybe that'll have oxygen. It's also possible that there might be some kind of map over here. Got another flounder pirate over there. I do think there's a bit too many pirates. Like, all I want to do is travel in between locations, and they keep messing with me. That's all I want to do, is just move in between locations, and there's so many pirates, and they all want to hurt me. We've got... Where did the Glacium go? The City of Ice Merchant is over there. So let's go get... We're going to go to the City of Ice Merchant, I think. Because I think I've missed my heading for whatever that large landmass is off to the other side. If we have to fight this guy down here, I'm okay with that. Although I would prefer not to fight multiples if I have to. Although it looks like he's been sunk. They should have guards over here. Oh no, it's two pirates. So no, they don't have guards over here. Well, that's going to be problematic because both these guys have torpedoes. That means on my first swipe, I've really got to hurt one of them. And I did. Good. He's down. Like, on my first go, one of them had to die. It was just like one of those biggie moments where it was like, somebody got to die. And they actually went down pretty... I wonder what the difference is. Because sometimes I feel like I fight two different flounders and they're very, very different ships. Like, sometimes they feel like they have way more HP or, like, way more, you know, damage or way more torpedoes. And then other times I'll fight them, and it seems like they're just pushovers. They eat, like, two hits right at the outset, and they go down. Yeah, please don't use one of our repair kits on one HP. You will upset me deeply if you do that. Like, very, very deeply. Not enough to make me, like, quit playing the game. Not enough, but it'll still be... It'll still be one of those situations where I'm like, hey, don't do that. Please don't do that. All right, so we got our torpedoes. We're going to the City of Ice Merchant now, which is where I said I was going to go in the last episode, and I did go here, and then it said it saved the game, and then it actually didn't, so I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, it's, a, it's a weird thing. Like, I'm always a little bit remiss to mention stuff like that because I don't know if it's, like, one of those weird things, but I swear to God, I swear to God, it made, like, the little green thing where it was, like, poof. Why are they... See, it did that thing right there, and then when I loaded my game, it just didn't load. I don't know. It's weird. There are a lot of pirates around here. There are, like, a concerning quantity of pirates. 
to the point where I feel nervous docking because I'm going to be just like... A victim waiting to happen. We have a lot of stuff to sell, though. We don't have any torpedo tubes, so those can go. Sea charts are totally worthless to me. 1200 bucks for that. 600 there. Yeah, this is the kind of money that I like to make. This is the kind of money that I like to make. We've got fish fossils. Okay. A tomato plant. I'm going to hold on to the scrap metal because you never know. I'm going to sell the daisy. We made a lot of money right there. We made really, really, really... Good money. So he's got guide light charts. Or no, that's me. I'm sorry. Ah, damn it. I was hoping I could buy a chart from somewhere in here, but I wasn't looking properly. Uh, for 8000 we can get an air tank if I wanted to sell one or two more things, because air has been a problem for us over the course of the last episode or two. An extra air tank would kind of do away with that issue. That's not going to be enough cash to get me there, though. She's also giving me bad prices, as far as I can tell. Hmm... I mean, well, that's fine. I can wait on it for right now. It's not... Where is that telling me to go? East, southeast. So, east, southeast. That just wants me to go back to Dragon's Tongue. I don't want to do that. That's lame. So, in the city of Ice Merchant... In the city! City of Ice Merchant. So, that's going to be like... That's pretty much perfectly southwest. So let's chart a southwest heading. Hopefully this time we can avoid pirates and like not get shot and get all off course. I'll be putting out some pings right now to just sort of see what we can see. I'm also going to dive a little bit because it might be more towards the bottom. Whatever it is that we're looking at right now. Oh, we're at crush depth. Hmm. See, my thing is that I'm not exactly sure. It says that there's some kind of... It says there's a thing right here, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Maybe this is it right here? Because this does look to be suspended in one way or another. Suspended like it went to school and got in a fight. There are a lot of mines. Is there anything that looks like pertinent over here? Let's just keep it to the southwest for now. I think this is the object we were looking for. So there's a research capsule right there and just this massive hunk of suspended ice down here. There's also a boat right there, although we're almost at crush depth. It looks like we've got an objective right there, which is kind of weird. The Dancing Marin. Oh yeah, we already did this, didn't we? Ow, I crashed into the Dancing Marin. So the Dancing Marin, let me put this on, nope. Put this on Captain's Time real fast, why? What's the Dancing Marin? You kidding? It's one of the coolest landmarks ever. Incredible that it's managed to stay balanced for centuries. So it's just like a point of interest. Why does it want me to go to the crushed or the dancing Marin? Once again, it's trying to take my stupid ass back to daybreak for some reason. And I don't know why. I don't want to go back to Daybreak. I want to go this way. There's a research capsule down there, but I'm not convinced I can actually dive that deep to get after it. I don't think I'm going to make it, so instead we'll go this way, and we'll see if there's anywhere that I can get oxygen from. There's a lone lionfish over there. Well, I don't see much. I mean, we've got the research capsule up there, but that's on that little suspended part. I say go west, and we'll see if there's anything way out here to the west. That's, like, one of the last areas that we haven't been to. Like, we're right here. So, with the Dancing Marine close by, I can only hope that we'll hit something eventually. 
we've got many mines. Hudson, keep those coming. Just every couple seconds, throw one out. Give me the overcharge, please. I don't know what's trying to fire on us right now, but something is. Go ahead and give me some overdrive here. Keep it high over the top. We'll see if there's anything dockable down here. It does look like we have a dockable surface right there. I'm going to see if I can get some oxygen out of this thing. There we go. We filled our air tanks up, so at least that's one problem less that we have to worry about. Grab a little bit of cash in here. Another crowbar. Okay, sounds good. It's weird how whenever I have a crowbar, there's never anything to crowbar. But, like, whenever I don't have one, those little loot spots with the crowbars come up all over the place. We've got what looks like another dock spot right there. Although, ping-wise, it's not really lighting up. Might as well, though. We're already down here. I mean, the pursuit of cash, money, Skrilla. Hey, there's one. Yeah, use a crowbar. Using the crowbar, you pry off the side of the crate. Ah, oh, I was hoping there'd be something special inside of there. It's just like an extension of the same loot you're already getting. Well, fine then. In that case, you would actually have to justify, because crowbars cost like $1,000. You would have to justify at least a thousand dollars worth of loot inside of each of those crates to make it worth the crowbar that you just used up unless you got the crowbar for free but even then you can vendor the crowbar for like what you can vendor a crowbar for 900 or 300 or 400 or something like that so at the bare minimum you would need to get more treasure than that in order to make it worth it i do like the exploration aspects of this game but i kind of just want to work on the storyline and they've made it very very difficult to figure out where the hell i'm supposed to go next the gold thing keeps pointing me back to Daybreak for some reason. And believe me, I followed it. So for all the people being like, follow the gold thing. Because I know you guys are out there and you're probably saying it right now. I did. It always goes back to Daybreak for some reason. There's a busted submarine in here. Huh. Okay. Thank you for your bounty, splendiferous busted ass submarine. Thank you for your kindness and your generosity. And allowing me to pick your bones. And please don't haunt me. That's all I would ever be worried about if I robbed ships and I, like, went around just, like, taking stuff out of sunken ships. I'd be like, yep, I'm going to get hainted. I don't even believe in this shit, but I know I'm going to get hainted. This is bad juju. You pick the bones of the dead and bad things happen, man. They've got to. There's got to be some kind of karmic retribution in the universe for that. Got a couple of gnome capsules over here. However, we having expressed that, it doesn't look like there's anything over here to the west. It looks like it's just a dead end over here. I think that would be a pretty good balance, is they should allow you to buy the charts from, like, cities and whatnot that, like, unlock the landmarks on your map. That way, if you don't want to do the exploration, like, run around and you just want to, like, get to it, you know what I mean? That would allow you to do so without having to spend a bunch of time just, like, flying around in circles accomplishing nothing. Which is basically what we're doing right now. Nothing has happened in, like, two episodes because I've just got to scan the entire map. In fact, after this episode, I'll more than likely just come back whenever I find Tal Dollar or whatever the hell it is. And then I'll be like, yep, it's over here so that you guys can avoid this experience for yourselves. But for now, it looks like there's a big-ass wall over here. Almost at crush depth. So we'll want to be careful about that. But let's keep ourselves trucking northwards. So it looks like there's some drill houses over here. That's clearly like a sunken sub. Or something over here. Yeah, it is. Alright, well let me fire off at least a round right there to blow that up. And what I'm going to do here is since we haven't found anything yet, and I've really been scouring the map like corner to corner, 
what I'm gonna do is I'll come back once I find Tal Dollar. In the next episode, we will be at Tal Dollar, and hopefully, I don't know. Wikis and stuff don't exist for this game. Otherwise, I would have wikied it already. But uh, they don't exist for the game yet because it's not officially out. This is like way before release that I'm playing this. So. I'll come back in the next episode after having found the objective that we're looking for so I don't bore you guys any further. And at that point, we will resume playing the game. All right? Uh, some things for consideration. I, I would strongly suggest that the developers maybe think about allowing you to buy charts without actually having been to the location from other spots. It makes sense to me that naval people would have their own charts and they would allow you to copy them if you would pay them or whatever for the service. So that to me seems like a really, really good balance where like if you go to one of the main cities, you can just buy the charts from the merchants for like what, like a thousand gold maybe? Something like that. So if there's a location you just can't seem to find, you can drop the cash and it'll just show up on your map now and you'll be like, oh, okay, there it is. Alternatively, since we have sonar systems and the ability to triangulate, I'm not sure why we don't show up on the map. Like I really feel like we should show up on the map. Uh, that's something I actually feel pretty strongly about. I'd be interested in hearing the justification for why we don't show up on the map, basically, but uh, we have the equipment necessary, like with a, with a sonar, you should be able to also report your own position on an overall map, but anyways. My name is Splattercat, I digress. Uh, if you like what I do here at the Nerd Castle, check out the Patreon, it's a great way to support me and make sure that you get new content, because at different levels you get like new shows and stuff like that that I work on. So, I will see you all in Tell Dollar. Bye, everybody. This is Deluvion. If you like the game so far and you want to get it for yourself, check it out down below, yeah?